Fun fact, at one point in history, Ford seriously thought the future of cars was nuclear powered. Not hybrid, not electric, not even hydrogen. I'm talking full on tiny nuclear reactor in the trunk of your car. Welcome to the Ford Nucleon, the closest humanity ever got to living the Jetsons life. The dream, in 1958, Ford unveiled a concept car called the Nucleon. Instead of the engine being up front, Nucleon had a rear mounted nuclear reactor designed to heat water, create steam, and then use that steam to power turbines that powered the car. Not gasoline, no tailpipes, no emissions, none of that. Ford claimed it could drive up to 5,000 miles before needing to refuel too. This was not a fill up, it was more of like swapping out nuclear cores. And in theory, it was clean energy, perfection, unlimited range, zero exhaust, your commute powered by a controlled atomic reaction. Now, as you're looking at the Nucleon, you probably notice something weird. The back half looks like a rocket ship made love to a Cadillac and not in a good way. This wasn't styling flair, it was necessity. The reactor had to sit very far in the back, away from the passengers, and it had to hold a massive radiation shield, which meant a very long wheelbase huge rear overhang, and a lot of optimism about how the physics of this thing was supposed to actually work. Ford openly admitted this was a design study and not a buildable car. Translation, we love the idea, we just don't know how the hell it's not going to kill the driver. The reality check came. First problem, the reactor size. In 1950, nuclear reactors were not that small. They were heavy, hot, expensive, and very much not crash safe. Second problem, supply and infrastructure. Who's handling these reactor swaps? Your local dealership? Yeah, we'll rotate your tires and refill your uranium. Third part, and this one's kind of important, accidents. Because one fender bender is one thing. A nuclear powered fender bender, that's called a containment breach. Even a minor car crash could cause potential release of radioactive material. Suddenly, parallel parking feels a lot more stressful. And this is ultimately why the whole thing was just shelved. Not cancelled, not delayed, just quietly buried in the pile of projects too radical ahead of their time. And yet the Ford Nucleon still matters. It represents a moment when the car companies believed anything was possible. When nuclear power wasn't just bombs and submarines, it was supposed to power your daily life. Your house. Your city. Your car. It just sadly didn't work out. But for a brief moment, we were one design breakthrough away from commuting around like George Jetson. And honestly, that's pretty cool. This has been a fun fact with Josh. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.